You know, guys, I was looking at this whole thing on Hamas and Israel on the computer tonight. They were showing pictures and videos. And, you know, Black Lives Matter in Chicago were celebrating their ass off for Hamas. Anybody that can celebrate the taking and raping of a nine-year-old, you're a piece of fucking scum. And I don't give a damn who you are, what color you are, what you claim to be, you're a piece of fucking scum. And it's just that plain and simple. And you know, you got all these damn groups out here, Black Lives Matter, matter to who? You don't even give a fuck about your own people. They're killing each other in the street every day and you don't give a damn. Unless it's a white man that does it. That makes you a fucking racist. Is what that makes you. And I'll tell you straight up right now. You got these South African groups. The EFF. Which is nothing but a hit squad. Going around murdering white people. In Africa. Because they hate white people. Everybody knows Black Lives Matter hates white people. You know, then you've got this not fucking around coalition that has made threats against the genocide of white people, cops showing up in full battle gear with ARs, military style, wearing the same colors as, pa as Palest Palestine, as Hamas, wearing the same colors. So what the fuck does that make these people? You know, then you got your cartels. So I guess my question is, you know, you've got people in Congress that you don't know where their true allegiance lie. You've got these drug cartels out here that's into trafficking because this is the way it was explained to me by a gang member years ago, Okay. If you buy drugs, you got to buy them at a certain cost and you got to sell them at a higher cost. But if you're into the sex trade, you can use that woman over and over till she's used up. Then you can sell her. So they're looking at the economics of it. So the sex trade is more profitable than the drug trade is. For these drug cartels and these gangbangers. My whole thing is, is why is the United States sitting back, letting the Black Lives Matter, the Not Fuck Around Coalition, and the drug cartel run the United States? Why are we not labeling these people what they are, which are domestic terrorist organizations? And why are we not looking into these people and either putting them away or doing something about this. Why are your Congress and your DOJ and your president, why are they letting all this happen? You know, there's a place not far from where I live that's been bought out by a coal company and it's a low income housing. They're gonna kick them all out and supposedly from what I've heard, either they're gonna let People come over here from another country to work the mines or they're going to turn it into a shelter for these migrants or illegals. Some people want to call them migrants. Look, if you come into this country the right way, you're, you're an immigrant. If you come into this country the wrong way, you're an illegal. And that's just the way it is. And you know all these people that's complaining about their jobs and thinking they should have every weekend off, every holiday off, make $30 an hour worth a $3 work ethic, you know, pretty soon you don't have to worry about it because these people that's coming in from all these other countries, they're going to have your job. They're going to be the ones that's working. You're going to be taking the scraps thrown down from the master's table. And your master's going to be the government of the United States. Because they're letting this happen. 
Do you think this is just all happening by coincidence? They're letting this happen. And your job is going to be gone. Because you're trying to sell yourself as being worth $20 an hour when you're only worth five. And the higher you negotiate your pay and the higher they negotiate minimum wage is the more prices on everything else goes up to offset the difference. That's basic economics, which you probably didn't learn in school anymore because they're not teaching anything in school except, you know, your critical race theory, uh, you know, being racist, being gay, sexual orientation. That's pretty much about all you get out of schools anymore. That's the reason most people are homeschooling. And pretty soon, it'll get to the point where everything will be online or everybody will be homeschooled because everything is getting more and more automated and more and more jobs are being lost and more and more jobs are getting ready to be outsourced to all these illegals pouring across the border. And you've got multiple wars going on in the streets right now and people don't seem to see it, want to see it, understand it, and everybody's afraid to comment on it. Everybody's afraid to say anything about it because they're scared of the government. And I mean, I don't know, that's just my rant for the night, I guess. Just something for you to, uh, something for you to think about and take serious.